What is printed people? Welcome back to Custom 3D. Today, I'm gonna to warn you about the worst purchase I've ever made in 3D printing. This is my Prusa Mark III S Plus. But no, that is not the biggest mistake I've made in 3D printing. This is. This is a Prusa Multi-Material Unit 2 S, maybe. But this caused more issues than it was worth and it also cost me $300 and three month wait time. So I recently made a video saying that the Prusa Mark III S was overrated. While I still think that's true, I think that I was a little bit pissed at this. After having it for three months in use, it just stopped really ever working. Where I could get it to work, you know, probably 60% of the time, it went back down to zero because I kept having sensor issue after sensor issue after sensor issue. And it just was not worth me printing something, it breaking, having to fix it, and then doing it all over again when I need that printer to work continuously for days upon days. So I de-upgraded it. And while I don't think that this unit is broken, um, if you wanna buy it, send me an email and I'll sell it to you for less than $300. <laughs> but you'd be crazy to buy one because this thing is a hunk of junk. And if you buy a Prusa, don't buy one of these. So which part of the multi-material unit did I have the most issues with? Well, while I had a combination of a lot of different issues, the most reoccurring one was the sensor, which is right on top of the extruder that detects filament. And I think that's called the Finda. And that one I kept having to adjust over and over again. And eventually it just didn't detect that there was any filament there. So when I tried to load filament, it would keep pushing it through and through and through and make this awful noise and basically feel like I was breaking the printer and the gears just kept pushing it and grinding the filament and it was the worst noise as ever. So that was probably the biggest issue I had with it. Also, even when I had it working, I could really only print in two colors. For some reason, it just didn't want to do anything more than that. Uh, it would do material one, material one, switch fine, material two, switch fine. And then you try to do three and four, just didn't work. I tried printing like the globe with green, blue, and white. And it was like a little gray, I think for like the base. And it just wasn't switching to the last two colors. So here's my really final opinion on the Prusa Mark III S Plus. It's a good printer. Worth a thousand dollars? Eh. I have a lot of Creality machines that are single color that push out prints just as nicely. Now, the ease of use factor that you get through it because of the flexible build plates, I think that's the biggest one, is really nice. But if I really wanted to, I could take these glass build plates off and just put on flexible ones. You know, that's wham bam sells PEI sheets that I could get for 30 bucks. Um, the automated build leveling, that's not a huge thing for me. I always level while the print is starting when it's doing a skirt or a brim. I never really use a piece of paper trick. That doesn't really work for me. I, feel, I hear that it hasn't worked for a lot of people, so I don't recommend doing the piece of paper before every print to level. Now, the other things that the printer has over the lower end Creality offerings and China offerings is it has Two, two lead screws, and then it has these lead rods that help stabilize it. Kind of unnecessary because the printer isn't super tall. If the printer was super tall and you were doing a lot of tall prints, I would see that being a very helpful thing, but it's only got a 250 millimeter, I think, build height, and it's just not really necessary to be there. Also, um, in terms of quietness, that's that's really nice, but is it worth $1,000 for it to be that quiet? No. 
So if you really want my recommendation, I would not buy Prusa Mark III S Plus because the Prusa Mini isn't that much smaller and it's half the price, less than half the price. So if you're willing to wait for it, and I think the lead time is like two to three weeks, maybe a little less than that now, uh, for the fully assembled one, not the kit, uh, you should just get that. Get two of them, actually, because you were ready to buy that one. Get two Prusa Minis. That's really my conclusion. Don't buy the multi-material unit. Don't buy a Prusa Mark III S Plus. Buy a Prusa Mini, and you'll be golden. Or be even smarter and buy an Ender 3. So that's just my opinion on the 3D printing realm under $1,000 Prusa Mark 3S compared to Creality Machines. It's sort of a rant video, experience video, my thoughts on the Prusa Mark 3S Plus. So thanks guys, stay tuned for more information. If you have any questions, please ask them in the description below. I'd love to talk a little bit more. And if you think that I missed something on this printer or any other printers, let me know and I'll see you in the next one.